Ratio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Palunzol. Pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Health. Pray for us. Good evening. Novena to our Mother of Perpetual Health, Immaculate Mother. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, 
let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity we have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us, repenting sincerely of our sins. We ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Last week, our Mother of Perpetual Health received letters of petitions and thanksgiving. 1,292 petitions, 314 14 thanksgiving, 19 spiritual favors, 2 for peace in the home, 18 for health and recovery from sickness, 13 for delivered from all dangers, 1 gift of a child and safe delivery, 1 financial, 1 for passing the board exam, 2 for travel abroad, 2 for local employment, 3 for overseas employment, 4 for temporal favors, and 248 for unspecified in all the blessings. Here is a, is a thanksgiving message from a devotee. Dear Mother of Perpetual Health, Noong nakaraang taon, sa buwan ng Nobyembre, ako po ay na-diagnose ng stage 4 prostate cancer nang hindi bababa sa pitong doktorang tumingin. At ito ay kumalat na sa aking lungs at mga buto. Binigyan na lang po ako ng isang taon upang mabuhay. Sa mismong kaarawan ko, ako po ay nakalabas na sa ospital at nakauwi na sa bahay. Kaya ako po ay agad na sumulat ng kahilingan sa inyo, mahal na ina, na tulungan niyo po ako na pagilingin po ako sa sakit na cancer. Noong March 9, 2021, bumalik po ako sa doktor para sa pag-follow up ng aking neurologist para sa aking biopsy. At sinabihan nila ako na ang result ay negative na. Ang aking PSA ay bumaba from 10,000 to 3, na ang ibig sabihin ay wala na po akong cancer. Napaiyak po ako noong aking marinig ito. At ang sabi pa sa akin ng doktor, na sa tagal ng panahon ng kanyang medical practice, ngayon lang niya na-experience sa mag-turn around yung PSA reading at ng mangha siya sa pangyayari. Maraming salamat po, mahal na ina ng laging saklolo sa inyong mga panalangin na ako ay inyong tinulungan na gumaling at salamat din sa lahat ng mga tao na tumulong sa akin, lalong na sa aking pamilya, kamag-anak, kaibigan, at sa lahat na nag-alay na kanilang mga panalangin. At ang inyo pong anak na nagmamahal at ang sulat ay nilagdaan. Mary Immaculate Star of the Morning Sleeping and dying, Mary, 
perpetual help from the cross jesus gave you to us for our mother you are the kindest the most loving of all mothers look tenderly on us your children as we now ask you to help us in all our needs especially this one while you are on earth dear mother you willingly shared in the sufferings of your Son, strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God. You accepted the mysterious designs of His will. We too have our crosses and trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest Mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers, in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that anyone who shares the cross of Christ will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from our Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender motherly love, may the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loves his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish their children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers to your loving care. We especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace, like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire human family. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help, Holy Mary, Holy Virgin conceived without sin, pray for us. Our Mother of Perpetual Help, pray for us. We sinners call to you, loving Mother, pray for us, that we may be faithful to the, to the promises we made at baptism, Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for all people. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were. 
Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepentant sin. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may seek Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may all respond to the challenges of the affliction brought about the COVID-19 pandemic with courage, hope, and support for one another. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may see the evil of seeking our own interests at the expense of others. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may share our talents with others for the good of the community. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may accept our responsibility in the community and the spirit of genuine service. Loving Mother, pray for us. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may care for and protect God's creation. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may defend human dignity and the sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may promote the equality of men and women. Loving Mother, pray for us. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may bring the knowledge of Christ to love those who do not know Him. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. Loving Mother, pray for us. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. Loving Mother, pray for us. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Loving Mother, pray for us. Let us pray in silence for our intentions. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Mother of Christ.
spite of this pandemic, the COVID-19, we continue to give thanks to the Lord. All our prayers and petitions we offer to Him, especially those families that are affected by this COVID-19, those in facilities, in the hospitals, and for the souls of those who have died because of this COVID-19. We include also in our Mass today the intentions of uh, families Cabosas, Ambe, Salem, Quintero, San Pedro, and also the intentions of the sisters, teachers, and staff of Mad Madre Maria Pia Notare School, and also for the soul of Luz Rivera and strength and healing for Candelario Rivera families. In the very silence of our hearts, my brothers and sisters, all our intentions, especially those who are online with us today, we lift it up to the Lord. Let us begin our celebration in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us first acknowledge our own hard-headedness in the very moment that we doubted the very grace of God in our life so as to be worthy to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, and to you my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly, greatly sinned in my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in what, what I have done and in what, what I have failed to do, to do. Through, through my fault, through my, through my fault, through my, through my most, most grievous fault. Therefore, Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord, our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy, grant us your servants to attain the grace of the resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, Forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might not know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield, from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord God is my help who will prove me wrong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. For 
insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart, and I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and in my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song, and I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See, you lowly ones, and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bands, he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Passionate with our errors. Glory and praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the twelve, who was called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver, and from that time on, he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, the teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples then did as Jesus has ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve, and while they were eating, he said, Amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord, he said in reply. He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but who? to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. Brothers and sisters, the gospel 
the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, in our celebration of the holy of the holiest, banal ng mga banal, tayo ay inaanyayahan ng Panginoon. But of course, it is not only the invitation of the Lord for His faithful. It is also the invitation of the Lord for His whole universal church. This represents the priests. In what levels is it? And there is also a celebration in the season of Lent, the what we call Chrism Mass. There, it is the oil for baptism and for the anointing of the sick is being blessed by the bishop and also the renewal of uh, the obedience of the priests to the universal church representing the bishop. In this moment of time, my brothers and sisters, me as a priest was moved by the very sharing of one of the bishop of the bishop of Tamdag, the diocese of Tamdag. And there, please allow me to share to you his sharing as it represents also my whole soul as a priest. You know what, my brothers and sisters, for almost five years as a priest, I have a lot of struggles and difficulties in my own ministry and in my own self. And sometimes I could not find the very presence of God. And in my personal prayer and crying in my own room, I cry out, Eloi, Eloi, Lema Sabachthani. Lord, why? But this is also the invitation for all of us who are gathered here today and to those who are online with us. Please allow me to share the reflection of the Bishop of Tamdag. He says, The purest part of the life and ministry of a priest will come out in times of difficulties, in times of trials, and in times of crisis. The purest part of ourselves come out when we are purged by the difficult moments in our lives, in our ministry. Ang mga kaparian kami po ay hindi spare sa pagsastruggle nasundan ang Panginoon. Kaya sinasabi, wag tayong aatras pag tayo ay nakakaranas ng kahirapan, mga kaparian. Because when you are encountering difficulties in ministry, God wants to bring out the best in you. Even in your failures, even in your infidelities, and even in your sickness. This is also the call for lay faithful and those who are online with us today, that in the very moment that we experience difficulties in this time of pandemic, we are being reminded by the Lord that He wants to bring out the best in us. And in our own context. Kaya, sabi ni Bishop, humingi kami ng paumanhin sa inyong lahat sa mga panahon na hindi namin isinabuhay ang aming pagkapari. Sa mga panahon na kami ay naging diktador sa inyo. O hindi kami nakikinig sa inyo at sa banal na Espiritu Santo na may sinasabi sa pamamagitan ninyo. Patawarin ninyo kami kung anuman ang aming pagkukulang. 
Patawarin kami kung kami ay nadala ng aming personal na pagiging tao sa aming pangangailangan. Inuuna ang sarili. Patawarin kami sa panahon ang pagtingin namin sa inyo ay hindi mga tao ng Diyos o kanyang sambayanan kundi pera. Pray for us that God will restore our vision that when we see you, we see you as people of God. That when we organize our BECs, our missions, our shrine, we do not count immediately love offerings, but we count loving people, people who need to be loved, to be served with all purity. Ipanalangin ninyo kami sapagkat walang obispo at pari na nagiging banal kung, wa, kung wala kayo na sambayanan ng Panginoon. Kung wala kayo, mga kapatid, wala din kami. Kaya kami nawa ay maging malakas at gagawa ng aming lahat na makakaya sa paghahanap at pagsunod sa Panginoon, lalong-lalo na sa panahon na kami ay nahihirapan at lalong-lalo na sa susunod naming mga assignments o kung saan man kami i-assign, na kami ay maging faithful sa simbahan, sa sangkatauhan ng Panginoon at maging faithful pa lalo kay Heso Kristo kung saan doon nagmumula ang aming pagiging pare. Kami ay nakikishare lamang sa pare at pagkapare at mission ng Panginoon. Ipanalangin kami na naway hindi kami mawala ng pag-asa sa pag-asa na baguhin at isabuhay ang aming pagiging paring ministro sa isip at gawa na ang tunay na mayari ng aming pagiging pare ay si Heso Kristo, si Heso Kristo lamang. Maraming salamat, Bishop of Tamdag, sa pag -re remind sa akin na ako din ay may pagkukulang bilang ministro ng simbahan, bilang isang redenturista. Kaya sa kwaresmang ito, humihingi kami ng paumanhin, humihingi ako ng patawad, at humihingi ako ng dasal, na nawa hindi ako mawalan ng pag-asa na patuloy akong maging mabuting ministro ng Diyos para sa kanyang sangkatauhan. Salamat po mga laiko na naging parte ng aking pagkapari. Ipanalangin niyo kami sa ngala ng Ama, ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen.
brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church receive O Lord we pray the offerings made here and graciously grant that celebrating your son's passion in mystery we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion, the glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Father most holy for your for you are great and you have fashioned all your works in wisdom and in love you formed man in your own image and entrusted the whole world to his care so that in serving you alone the Creator he might have dominion over all creatures and when through disobedience he had lost your friendship you did not abandon him to the domain of death for you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you who love the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, he shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor, he proclaimed the good news of salvation, to prisoners, freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart, joy, to accomplish your plan. He gave himself up to death, and rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored to life, and that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for whom who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ for the celebration of this great mystery which he himself left us as an eternal
covenant. For when the hour have come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took the bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In the similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Brothers and sisters, let us proclaim the mystery of our faith. we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of dead to proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand and so we await his coming in glory we offer you his body and blood the sacrifice acceptable to you which brings salvation to the whole world look O Lord upon the sacrifice which you yourselves have provided for your church and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may be truly become a living sacrifice in Christ to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom you offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Jesse, our Bishop, and the whole orders of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your church and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Brothers and sisters, in the silence of our hearts, let us offer also this Mass for our dearly departed brothers and sisters. To all of us, your children, grant a merciful, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, freed from the corruption of sin and death. May we glorify you through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. and sisters at the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching 
We dare to sing. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is here. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, My peace I give you, my peace I leave you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. O the peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us offer each other the sign of God's love and peace. Peace. of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for us protection in mind and body and our healing remedy. Brothers and sisters, behold the Lamb of God, who is always sharing to us the grace of priesthood, who forgives our sins. Happy are we today invited personally by the Lord in his own banquet together. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ will give us eternal life. Amen.
Prayer for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other affliction of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort, restore them to health, in body and soul, so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Before the final blessing, thank you very much, my brothers and sisters, to those who join in our Eucharistic celebration today, especially those who are online with us. Thank you very much. An invitation of the Lord for us, as we also uh, asked uh, for your mercy, my brothers and sisters, please continue to pray for us, for our Pope, for our bishops and priests and religious sisters and for our universal church. Let us pray. In thou was so mighty God with a firm conviction that through your son's death in time to which the, the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, your families, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We offered already our Mass, my brothers and sisters. We will continue it as we share our vocation to love to everyone. Thanks be to God. Blessed is the fruit of your womb. 